Money, money, money. Give me money. Money, money, money. Give me money. This is not enough. Hello, guys. My name is Doke, and in this video, I'm gonna explain you why. Why art costs that much. I think that all of us were at least once wondering how it is possible that something like this cost that much. And I would say that most of us close this case with something like I can do five of these every day. I'm also an artist from time to time. I also try to sell my art so I know something about these things. So let me explain it as easy as possible. By the way, this painting, it's, a, it's in a collaboration with my friend Byte. He started the canvas and I'm gonna finish it. And according to the topic, I got a question for you. Let me know in the comments below how much you are able to spend for art and Let's divide it into two categories. How much you're able to spend for an original piece of art, for example, original canvas, one of a kind. And the second thing, how much you're able to spend for a not that limited art, I don't know, for example, a print of a canvas. So, why? Why it is that expensive? There are three main reasons or points why. Let me start with the point number the reason number one is limitation. I'm gonna use this artwork that I'm working on right now as an example. I would sell this artwork for about 400, 500, maybe even 600 euros. Some of you are already getting angry. I could have a five pairs of sneakers for it. Yes, you can, but the price is totally fine. Ooh, what do you mean by okay? It's not okay, it's a lot. You are greedy, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say that it's gonna cost 500 euros. You have to understand that this canvas is not some normal product that you can buy in the shop whenever you want. There will be just one lucky person who will buy it. Just imagine Yeezy sneakers limited like that. They would cost thousands and thousands and maybe even more dollars. Let me continue with the reason number two, the time. This reason has two parts. The time number one is the time that you obviously need to spend with the canvas, the time of the painting. But most of the people forget about the second time. The time that you need to spend the hours, weeks, months, years to get to, the, to, the, to that level. First of all, you need to have this time. You need to reach the skill. And then we can talk about the second time. I'm gonna use a minimum wage to explain this. For most of the ordinary jobs where you get just the minimum wage, you need to have some skill. But to reach that skill you need, I don't know, a week, maybe a month. If you want to paint rooms, for example, well, you need to practice for a week and you're gonna get a minimum wage. But the artist case is not about weeks or months, it's about years. Years of the practice hours of sitting behind the table, drawing, practicing. Can you see that difference? When you already have that skill, we can talk about the second time, the time that you need to spend with the exact artwork.
most of the time when you have some job you get money for the amount of the hours that you spend in that job this thing really depends on the country where you live in my country Slovakia the minimum wage is around to be honest I'm not sure about it but let's say that it's free free euros in USA California for example the minimum wage is around nine dollars so let's say that it's seven euros if you want to make a canvas worth 500 euros you need to work on it for about it really depends on the artist let's say that the average time is around 15 hours the point is that if you make a canvas like this worth 500 euros in 15 hours your wage per hour is 33 euros when you compare it with a minimum wage the the difference is huge but remember that to reach that minimum wage you don't need any training to get this money you need to work damn hard because if your artwork sucks nobody will pay for it Here we go the reason number three it might make you a little bit angry because it explains how it is possible that something like this is worth that much the reason number three is the name when artist has a name it basically means that he can create whatever he wants and it's gonna cost a lot and that person doesn't even need to be an artist Maybe it's a little bit annoying but it's true sounds that it's it's not right right but it's completely right. It's really hard to be a good artist, to practice for years, but it's even harder to have, a, to have a name. There are so many great artists in the world and lots of them are pissed because, because even though their skills are great, nobody knows about them. And it's even worse for them when they see somebody who's not that good, but it's more known as they are. simple being now is giving you opportunity to make more money uh, please if you don't want to miss any of my videos click to that bell next to the subscribe and you're gonna get notifications also if you want you can answer the question from the beginning of this video how much you're able to spend for an art if you're gonna like the artwork thumb up would be awesome and yeah let me know what you think about this topic down there thanks for watching guys and this is the artwork